Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deepa Burr and I'm here to inspire you all to live a deeply beautiful life. In today's video, we are talking everything you wanted to know about hair. How it grows, what the different growth stages are, and how alopecia fits in with all of that. I wanted to create this video for you guys because whenever you're trying to learn about how to manage a disease, it's always good to have a really strong knowledge base so that you can kind of navigate through all of the different solutions out there. We are gonna get into this video. Before we do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can find out exactly when I post my next video. All right, let's get into the ABCs of hair. So hair is made up out of two things. The follicle, which is underneath, it's inside of your scalp. And then the shaft, which is what is visible to the eye. At the base of the follicle is the bulb. And the bulb is what surrounds the papilla. And the papilla is what connects the bulb with the blood vessels. And the blood vessels nourish your hair. Now, when a hair is growing in the follicle, it passes an oil gland on its way out and the oil gland is what makes the hair nice and shiny. So on average, your hair grows about half an inch per month. It can vary from person to person and you have about 100,000 follicles on your scalp. Now all of those follicles aren't like growing hair in unison. They're all kind of in different stages, which is why you lose approximately 50 to 100 hairs on average per day. So that's kind of like the base knowledge that will help you kind of understand everything else when it comes to hair. And now we're gonna move on to the four different stages of hair growth. So the first stage is the antigen phase, also known as the growth phase. And the growth phase can last anywhere from two to seven years. And however long your hair is in the growth phase, will determine how long it will actually grow. So the longer your hair is in the antigen or growth phase, the longer your hair will be. And at any given moment, 80 to 90% of your hair is in this phase. So the second stage is the catagen phase. And the catagen phase is also known as the transition phase, which lasts about 10 days on average. And in this phase, your follicle is basically shrinking and your hair ends up detaching from the papilla, which is the blood source. And so basically your hair is not growing anymore. This now brings us to the third stage, which is the telogen phase, also known as the resting phase. And this lasts anywhere from three to four months. About 10 to 15% of your hair is in this phase at any given moment. And at this point, your hair is just resting and it's just waiting to fall out and a new hair is getting prepared to be formed underneath it. And the last and final stage is the exogen phase, which is basically where your hair falls out and then a new one starts to form and you get pushed back into the anagen phase, which is the very first phase um, of the whole entire cycle. So you're going growth, transition, resting, falling and then it just is a cycle that repeats itself and in a person who isn't affected by alopecia this part is what just continuously keeps on happening but when you are experiencing alopecia that's when something gets disrupted along the way and the catagen telogen and exogen phase all together that takes anywhere from three to like six months so that's why when you're trying any sort of new treatment out you really have to give it that much time before you can even really determine if you're getting results from it. So when I was going through the alopecia, I didn't really know all this stuff. I knew it took about three months for any new hair growth to occur. I thought it was three months. I didn't realize it could be up to six months, but I'd love to know from you guys if you've tried a treatment and you stopped before then, and if you think that you'll give it another try because you didn't stick it out for so long, just out of curiosity, because I think this information will really help a lot of you out there that sort of gave up a little bit earlier or didn't know. I mean, a lot of us don't know this information. All right, now we're gonna move on to how alopecia fits in with the hair growth cycle. Now, there are a lot of different types of alopecia out there. I'm actually working on a video for you guys, breaking them all down. That will be the next one, so watch out for that. But the ones we're gonna talk about right now are the main types of alopecia. So alopecia areata, universalis, or totalis. Now, most of you know that alopecia is considered an autoimmune disorder. And what that means is in an autoimmune disorder, your body is basically attacking your body's cells as if it was a foreign invader like a bacteria or a virus. So it's going out and it's trying to kill all these cells. So in alopecia, your immune system is attacking your hair bulb. So remember the bulb, it's the root of the hair that attaches to the papilla, which has the blood vessels that nourish your hair. So in alopecia, it's happening in the antigen phase, which is the very first phase, the growth phase. It cuts that part short and it pushes your hair growth cycle into the next phase, which is the catagen 
or transition phase. So you might have heard that when um, alopecia hair falls out, it looks a little differently than regular hair. And there's a reason for that. So basically when your immune system is attacking your hair, it weakens the hair shaft. Remember the hair shaft is what is visible to the eye. Um, and then whenever you're touching your hair or brushing your hair or whatever you're doing and when you're going through alopecia, the weakest part of your hair shaft is going to break off and that hair is gonna fall. And then you're still left with the hair that's inside the follicle. And that's eventually going to get pushed through the surface and fall out. And remember that you're in the catagen phase, so that part takes approximately 10 days to happen. And then your body pushes you into the telogen phase. So now your hair is in the telogen phase. And remember that the telogen phase lasts about three to four months. Now, if the inflammation surrounding the bulb has reduced, your hair will then get pushed into the anagen phase. So back into the growth cycle all over again. And that's why it's so important when you're going through alopecia to stick to the protocol of stress management, following the AIP diet, and taking your supplements so that when your hair is in the telogen phase, you give your body a chance to reduce inflammation and that way your hair can go back into the antigen phase. And once your hair is back, it's so important to maintain self-care because you don't want a reoccurrence to happen. Okay, so that was a lot of information and I really hope to help you guys. And remember the next video, we're gonna be talking about all of the different types of alopecia. So hit the notification bell so you can find out when that's gonna be posted. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with anybody that might benefit from it. And if you guys have any questions and need to reach out or need somebody to talk to, you can DM me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks with another video. Take care.